Today, we're looking at reactions and reflexes. The speed of your reactions plays a large part in your everyday life. If you can't react quick enough, it can have big consequences. Whereas fast reactions can be hugely helpful. Like this. That was a pretty quick reaction, actually, Zond. Pretty impressed myself. Now, Zond caught the mug because his eyes spotted it falling. My eyes sent a message to my brain telling my arms to move and catch the mug. And this is a conscious process. The whole process happens extremely quickly. In fact, the average reaction time is an unbelievable 0.25 seconds. To show you, we need an average person, like you, Chris, to the cupboard of everything. I didn't know we had a table tennis hall in the cupboard of everything. Of course we do, but I'm thinking of having it repainted. I'm going to test how fast Chris's reactions are by firing ping-pong balls at him. We'll time his reactions using a super slow-mo camera. Here we go! When the ball is fired, Chris starts to move his bat, ready to hit it. That's a reaction time of 0.24 seconds, so just quicker than the average of 0.25 seconds. Not bad. But I know someone who could react even faster. Chris, meet Denise Payette. Hi, Denise. Hi. She is amazing at table tennis. Really? Have you won any medals? Wow, that is impressive. Oh. Commonwealth bronze medalist Denise has trained over 10,000 hours in 10 years, so let's see how fast she reacts to my machine. Oh. When the ball is fired, Denise moves her bat to hit it. She reacted in just 0.04 seconds. That's six times quicker than Chris. Denise's amazing table tennis reactions are mainly thanks to a huge amount of practice. Denise isn't naturally faster than Chris, but she's trained so much that her body remembers the movement and can now react very quickly. You could speed up your reactions too. Really? So do you think that if I put in a bit of practice, I could maybe get to a similar level? I think you've left it a little late, Chris. Well, it's not like you're in a better position than me. I could handle anything you can throw at me. Oh, really? Well, how about this? <laughs> Quick, back to the lab. Oh, well, heads. Oh, look. If you're going to test my reactions, you've at least got to give me a chance to catch it. Well, Zond, I wasn't testing your reactions. I was testing your reflexes. Reflex actions are much faster than any other response in the human body. And it's all thanks to an incredible and strange-looking system. Take a look at this. Gross alert! This is the brain and the spinal cord of a pig. Now, the brain is a lot simpler than yours, but the spinal cord looks almost exactly like the one that you've got. Together, they make up the central nervous system. Now, the little tentacle-like things coming off the side here, those are actually the beginnings of nerves, and those nerves would run out into the rest of your body, and they're what allow your body to communicate with your brain and your brain to communicate with your body. We've kitted Billy Bones out with a network of nerves. Now, when you touch something normally, a message goes from your hand all the way up the nerves into your brain to tell you how it feels. But if you touch something sharp, your body uses a clever shortcut so that you can pull away more quickly. It sends a message up to the spinal cord, but rather than going up to the brain, immediately a message is sent back to your muscles to tell your hand to pull away quickly. Ouch! Sorry, Billy and the wiring of this shortcut is known as a reflex arc. But how much faster is a reflex than a reaction? Well, we can put it to the test scientifically. That's right. Welcome to Dr Zahn's relative reflex response extravaganza game. Now, Chris, we're going to test the speed of your reflexes. We're going to blindfold you. Then, two mystery items are going to pass along the conveyor belt. You are going to hold your hand out here and wait for those items to touch it, and we're going to record his responses using our super slow-mo camera. So, Chris, blindfold on. Hand in the correct position. Let's play. Here comes the first item. Hmm. It feels slimy and soft and squishy. I'm going to guess it's some sort of edible sweet. Wrong! What you've got there, Chris, is a fresh pig's eyeball. <laughs> Ugh. 
The eyeballs may be gross, but touching them, Chris wasn't in any pain, so his body didn't think he was in danger and his reflex arc didn't need to take over. This was a reaction. Here we go, let's play. Ow! That was a cactus! When Chris touched the cactus, he felt pain, so his reflex arc came into action, bypassing his brain and telling his arm muscles to pull his hand away. He did this in 0 0.08 seconds. That's three times faster than his reaction speed. His spinal cord bypassed his brain to deal with the situation. Another amazing way your body keeps you safe. Didn't he do well? Let's have a big round of applause for Dr Chris. <laughs> so, uh, what do I win? Nothing. This is science. It's not a game. So, we've shown you that your body's reactions are controlled by your brain sending messages to your muscles, telling them how to act. But if you're in danger, your body has a clever shortcut. It bypasses your brain, sending messages straight to your spinal cord and back again. So you act super fast. This is a reflex.